Welcome to Bladed Tech Gaming in our Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough and travelogue. This is the 14th part of our gameplay. In part 13, Arthur attempted to collect a debt from a Valentine area farmer in an encounter that will prove to be quite consequential later down the road. For the time being though, Arthur reports back to Strauss that the debt is still due. To kill time, we decide to respond to former Morgan Flame Mary Linton's request for a visit. Arthur hoped for a reconciliation, but is disappointed when he finds out that Mary just wants help tracking down her brother Jamie. Nevertheless, he agrees to do so, and we set out to find Jamie. Along the way, we stop to assist a woman whose horse died on the trail and ferry her back to her hometown. We'll rejoin Arthur as he's riding back on the trail to find Jamie. Many thanks for choosing to watch our content. Let's continue. All right, we're back to Red Dead Redemption 2, and uh, we just uh, finished a side mission, I guess you call it, helping a woman return to the town that uh, or, or, uh, Wagon Fence is in, I forget the name of it. And now we're headed back out to uh, help out Hello, Mary Linton, uh, Arthur's old uh, flame. I don't know if it was her fiancé or just a girlfriend, but they, I think he hoped to marry her and they didn't have him because his her father uh, opposed the uh, yeah. relationship. Of course, it didn't help that Arthur is, uh, you know, his job is to murder and rob people. And uh, obviously, Mary likes the danger and the resourcefulness of Arthur Morgan, but she can't justify the lack of, uh, of culture and sophistication that uh, her heretofore well to -do, well to do family uh, is used to. The Mary Linton story is an important one important backstory for Morgan in this game. Uh, it does have uh, some impact on the, uh, the direction of the game, although perhaps not on the ending, unless you refer to bad karma and good karma that this game emphasizes. So if you're just jumping right into this episode and you missed the previous one, uh, Jamie is who we're looking for. It's Mary's brother. And of course, Arthur knows Jamie. Uh, more or so as a smaller kid, but now he's an adult. Yeah. And Jamie's run away from the family uh, to join some sort of a religious cult, which of course happens to be in the state that uh, the Vendelin gang has been camping out in. It's not really clear how Mary knows how to contact um, Morgan in Valentine, which is what she did, but uh, she does. And that's how we got this quest. Yeah. As you can see, the sun's going down here, so we'll probably just camp uh, and uh, you know, get started again in the morning. Uh, and, well, I'm sure we'll edit this out to just save the viewer the, you know, <laughs> the boring details of doing so. Of course, when we woke up, it was raining. It does rain in this game. In fact, the weather is an interesting aspect of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, storm, foggy, it's uh, really quite impressive. Uh, it's uh, perhaps superior to a lot of the games probably that came before it in that aspect. But I think that um, it'll probably clear up when we get to the cutscenes regarding uh, Jamie and his uh, cultists. The objective here is to bring Jamie back to Mary. Uh, I'm not sure if there's an alternative uh, outcome to that, so it should be interesting to see uh, how this develops. Sometimes the game gets into this linear track where there's no fork, you just have to uh, you know, beat the bosses and achieve the, uh, the objectives in their entirety in order to continue, and I have a feeling that's what's going to go happen here. No less than the recent rediscovery of 
theology. <laughs> One hundred years ago. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. A path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur? I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I think we'll just be agreeable here. I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? No real clue. I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary! That... I think we're going to have another one of these horse chases. Just leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help. He's going quite fast. That's unexpected, I would thought. Ah, that's short. No kid in the forest, because damn it. Oh, I guess uh, there's no room for air here in this mission. So we'll have to start it again. Yeah, I mean, running off of cliffs with horses is a feature in this game. I've seen a number of other uh, YouTubers do the same thing. Chilonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Stop! Let's talk about this! I'll have to answer to you! Sorry! They're just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yep. Come on, Jamie! Your sister's worried about you! Please, Arthur! 
Arthur! I'm a man now! I, I found something! A calling! You're just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! You're an outlaw! You leave me alone! They're good people! I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan! Jamie has a point. <laughs> <laughs> so, Leave me alone! Uh, yeah, it's, it's a tough Please argument to make, get. sure. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Oh, damn it. It's gotta... I have to, damn it, I gotta do Deadeye here. And keep him from killing himself. Yeah, I guess that wasn't fast enough. I just was caught off guard. I wouldn't have totally expected to have to do that. Uh, so, well, I guess we'll try again. Sometimes you have these kind of set pieces, and uh, there's only one way out. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Got it this time. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> this is the funniest okay. part about Arthur's character. He's not a warm and fuzzy guy. And, uh, he has trouble expressing okay, himself. Uh, Jamie's not the only one who's going to hug him. Have I been a terrible game. fool, it's happened, Arthur? I think, before in the game. I don't know if we showed it on camera. It'll happen again. I don't know. <laughs> he never knows what to do. I don't know enough about it. Well, one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? So I guess the implication here is Arthur, in spite of the fact he was an outlaw, was sort That's of a father a long figure. Time ago, son. Uh, when he and Mary were seeing each other, uh, because his real father is kind this of a bastard. How I, today uh, would turn out. I think we'll see it's later been a in the long game. Time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. 
Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Still loves her, even after all these years. Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please! You've. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy, my sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. He knows it, but it's a hard pill to swallow. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. All right, so we have enough time to uh, squeeze in another side mission, uh, the uh, main mission, I, and I think the Mary Linton oh. was a main mission, um, is, uh, was short enough to do so. So uh, we picked up a bounty uh, poster from the Valentine Sheriff's Office for a it's Mrs. Swan, who apparently likes to kill her boyfriends and husbands and is on glam. We got to go chase her down. So we don't show the picking up the bounty post, I think, on the camera, which is fine. And we're going to go uh, chase Mrs. Swan down. Yeah. The ambush site is quite a distance away, so we'll probably cut a couple of times uh, the video forward uh, just to avoid the pain of having to slog through more force riding. There's a bear nearby that we don't interact with. It does make hell of a racket. We ran into the train station too because there's a marketplace in there and uh, kind of stocked up with supplies. Uh, we skipped over that. Arthur really has to bushwhack a long distance from the train station, so again, we just skipped over that and uh, we're getting right to the point. Willie weren't my sweetheart. He was a bully, okay? And he got what was coming. Now, 
You gonna come over here and romance me? It says there's other fellers. It says right there in black and white. <laughs> Y'all talking about Frank and Henry. And Howie. I just had bad luck with my men folk is all. Bad luck? Until I met you, you turned my world around. Oh, you're a conundrum, Missy. Mm -hmm. A real conundrum. I'm just, I'm just a lady, is all. All right, so we it appears to be on the cliff face. We'll have to walk around. Fall damage is such a big part of this game, as you saw earlier in this video with horse fall. You just have to be careful. I don't know if sneaking in really makes a difference here, because it may just trigger the cutscene, so I don't know what to expect. But we're sneaking in. Mrs. Schwan? You like to come along with me? Elian, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the feller. What Ow. kind of men are you? Puny. She stabbed That's him right in the neck. Little... Oh, you men are. Wow, that was a one stab kill shot. That I wasn't expecting at all. Normally, Arthur could take more damage than that. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay, let's try this again. The newspaper. Oh. They're saying you're a black widow. Well, I'm nothing of the kind. That means you kill your sweethearts. Where do they get such nonsense? You're... Now come over here. Mrs. Schwan, you like to come along with me? Elian, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the feller. What Ow. kind of man are you? <laughs> oh, you and she didn't die. Uh, okay. Yeah, of course I had to reload, which I didn't realize. That was kind of stupid on my part, but I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to shoot this one. Right? I'm getting the idea here, you gotta take her alive. How the hell am I going to do that? I guess you just... You're going to have to lasso her before she stabs you to death. I, I, I seen a news... Paper. They're saying you're a black widow. Well, I'm nothing of the kind. Mrs. Swan, you like to come along with me? Elian, I... I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the feller. What kind of men are you? Puny, backstabbing little. Oh, you men are. Uh. That dumb little boy. Uh. <laughs> okay, you can shoot her and she doesn't die, but if you punch her in the face, she dies. That's just great. So I can't hit her. I can't shoot her. I mean, I'm really gonna have to lasso it. I, 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 in the newspaper. Oh. Mrs. Swan, you like to come along with me? 
L A N. I'm sorry, but I, I I'm gonna make you go with the feller. What kind of man are you? Puny, backstabbing little. All you men are useless. Yeah, the timing is so precise in this side mission. I mean, you don't have enough time to lasso her. She doesn't get into range of a lasso. And the lasso animation takes time to work. And it's just, you, you have a nanosecond before she stabs you. So, unfortunately, we got it here. We might as well loot the guy that was killed. Uh, Enjoy the peace and uh, quiet. This is Swan. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Look at the floor for a bit. You all right, girl? Settle in. You got So we now have to take her back to the uh, sheriff in Valentine. A ride ahead of you. Oh, dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? It's a... It's a horrible blur, but I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl, R really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, mister? I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. Fever of the brain. I, I, I've done bad things, but a jail, a jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please, save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from myself. Such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? Put me on the straight and narrow. I think she finally ran out of things to say. Coming up on the jailhouse. 
Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feather out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women. What's in this book? I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Now that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, I think it's just bounties. So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. It's gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. I haven't seen him. Next day, I heard he got dragged by his horse two times over, looking like two meat. Hey there, girl. All right, so that should do it. Uh, tied up the Mrs. Swan bounty and uh, we rescue Jamie. And, uh, we'll take a break. See you guys on the other side.